Let's talk a little bit about your first couple of auditions. Obviously, you studied acting, so you, and you had an agent, so you kind of had a little prep. But yeah. do you remember your first audition, and what was it for? I remember uh, I was still living in San Diego. I hadn't moved up to L.A. yet. And as soon as I got an agent, um, they started submitting me for auditions. And that means I had to drive two hours up once or twice a week to audition for whatever show. And the biggest shock, I think the first one was, the first audition was for uh, Cold Case, CBS. Ooh, yes, great show. Remember that show. And those cast and directors uh, took a liking to me. And, you know, for when you audition up here, it's you got to audition a few times for the same casting people before you end up booking it. You know, you just got to get them familiar with you and what you do. So I did like three or four auditions for various episodes in that show. And then on like the third or fourth one, I finally booked it. And, and that was a big one. Cause it was a guest star, which means you're in the entire episode, a lot of lines, character arc, you know, yeah. your character goes through something and it was just, and that was a shock because you're going from, John J. Morning Show, drinking milk, to <laughs> studying acting on stage, very serious, academic, whatever. And then you get up there and you're on set. And being on set is a whole planet of language and understanding how long it takes to shoot one scene that's like, this one scene is 30 seconds, but it took an hour and a half to shoot it. And they got to flip the camera around. You do the scene 8 million times. So all of that was kind of a learning process just to get used to what it actually is like to act on a camera for TV or film. It's, yeah. it's, you, you gotta, there's an energy you have to sustain to do the same scene, say the same lines as if it's the first time right? Uh, for two hours straight while they're getting the shot right. You know, his, his character's kind of a goof, but the movie um, uh, True Romance, I think of Michael Rappaport's character when he's trying to get that role. Is that kind of what it's like? Yes, it is. It is. It's a, uh, and then when you get, I remember one of the, one of the first things I booked ever, ever in LA was a episode of ER. The I got on the last season of ER. I think that's the first one listed on your IDBM or IMDB yeah. rather. Yeah. 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 John Stamos was leading the show during that time. And when I auditioned for it, it was the role of a, a, a guy dressed in a, this is perfect. It took me back to the morning show. The role was a guy who was dressed as a giant Thanksgiving turkey who got his ass beat outside of a store on Thanksgiving. I and remember now, that and, show. That, I, yes. I, 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 I'm going to have to go back and look at that. That episode. Yeah. That's you. Yeah. So, and, and, he's, and he's on the gurney or whatever getting looked at, and he's got an exchange with John Stamos or whatever. And it was so surreal because in my mind, I'm like, this could have been me on the morning show, absolutely getting beat up on accident because John sent me to the wrong place. Right. So it was perfect. It was a perfect, like, very first on-camera presence. 